Hello Pega enthusiasts. Today we will be talking about what are hotfixes in Pega. We will understand what is a Pega hotfix, where can I find them, how to order them and how do I install them and of course what are the best practices when we try to install them. A hotfix in Pega is no way different from a patch. When I say a patch, for example, if you have an Android phone and over a period of months, you will see that Android releases certain patches and it asks you, please install this. Same thing is true for Apple as well. Whenever you have any new version releasing, it will give you a patch to install so that you are updated with any issues. If they are there, they are going to fix those bugs and they're going to release those patches. Exactly similarly, Pega also releases these hotfixes. What are hotfix? Hotfix is nothing but a a fix for one of the issues which is existing in the product and Pega will release that by naming it as hotfix that's what hotfix is all about it's just a patch or a fix for one of the issues which they have identified within the product hope this answers the understanding with respect to what is a hotfix all about now coming on to our next question where can I find these hotfixes how do I determine which hotfix is needed for my environment well Pega gives us that understanding by providing us a page where we can go and look for our specific hotfixes the link for which I'll be giving in the description of this video depending upon the type of environment you're trying to access for example I do have Pega 8.7 version with me in my in laptop so I'll be using this particular page to understand what hat hotfixes are necessary for that particular version the organization you're working in can give you a mandate that these are certain hotfixes which you should have all your system will be vulnerable for new issues or vulnerabilities based on that you can come and look up here whatever version you're working on and you can find them here and you can request these hotfixes we'll also go over how we can request them I'll show you that in just a moment the next question which we have is once we have identified the hotfix number which we want to install we need to know how to request for that to request for a hotfix we will have to raise a request with Pega a hotfix request to obtain that particular patch or hotfix through the my support portal which Pega has provided I'll walk you through that as well once you log into PDN from the support category, you can access your My Support Portal. Click on this link and this should take you to the My Support Portal. Once you are in the My Support Portal, click on New Request and raise a hotfix. You should be getting a pop-up where you will be specifying, you will be creating a new request for hotfix and it would look something like this, HF64906 is one of the hotfix which I am requesting for, you would be specifying or asking for existing hotfix and the account you are, uh, you belong to and the company, uh, the project you are working on and then you will be choosing, is it an on-premise or a cloud or whatever environment it is, you will be choosing that and then you will be going further from here. So this is a details page where we'll be selecting what hotfix do we want. For example, the platform is Pega platform is what I've chosen. 8.7 version is what my current version I'm working on. And then the hotfix number. As soon as you choose this hotfix number, Pega populates it. I'll show you again, delete this. And then you can specify the hotfix and this should and click a tab. This should populate the hotfix you want to deploy. I want to deploy the log4j vulnerability hotfix onto my 8.7 platform. You can click continue from here and you should be able to conclude on the ordering of this hotfix. Once you have once you have clicked the finish button, you will see the, the hotfix item gets resolved and completed and you will get this particular attachment. The attachment will have a DL item, DL hyphen, some number and the hotfix number which you have requested. Once you download it, the extraction will look something like this. Once you have downloaded, this has the fix for the issue we had highlighted. You can read the readme file, which talks about what contains this particular DL file, what contains this particular DL file has. It has, if you see, parent hotfix number so and so, and 
some other additional instructions you know which are metadata for this particular hotfix this brings us to the last question which is how do we install this hotfix and what are the best practices around these hotfixes to install the hotfix i have logged into my pega instance and now i will try to show you how exactly you can install this hotfix once you have logged into your development studio for example in the development environment you have to go to configure click on system and then you will have a option called release from configure system release and hotfix manager please note i am using version 8.7 for this particular demonstration once you click on hotfix manager you will see if there are any existing hotfixes you can use this wizard to see if there are any existing hotfixes which have been committed uncommitted whatever it is you will be seeing here those details now i don't see any of the hotfixes i want to install my hotfix i have the dl item downloaded in my system i'll just have to click on install hotfix and then upload that file to upload that file i can choose from here click on choose file and this should give me that dl item see i'm able to refer to that dl item which is a zip file i'll click open and now it tells this already exists do you want to override let us say i want to override okay and then once you click next this should take us further in the steps where we will be able to see what exactly is being imported as part of this hotfix so once i click next it brings to me the next brings me to the next screen where i see that this particular hotfix is already installed and then what i can say i can call finish here so this help me understand how exactly i can download a dl item and install a hotfix so i hope you have understood how to install a hotfix and from the best practices standpoint these are few best practices you should follow take a database backup before you install this patch always advise to take a database backup of your current database so that if anything happens once you install this hotfix you can roll back and come back to the previous version this is a very mandatory step which you should perform before installing any hotfixes within pega the next best practice is go through the readme file to see what you are trying to install is it the same hotfix which you had requested for verify that and of course follow the instructions from pega support pega support takes special care in letting the customers know that what are the steps which have to be followed in with respect to installing this hotfixes for example you might need certain permissions on a certain table this will be specified by the support engineer in the instructions when you try to write raise for a hotfix so follow those instructions very carefully if you see any issues come up try to communicate back with pega support by letting them know when you installed this hotfix these are the issues which came up they'll be very happy to help you back of course once you have done with the installation in your development environment test it thoroughly and perform enough testing before you move it to your higher environments the process is same with respect to installation with uh, higher environments be it your quality assurance or few people call it test environment your user acceptance testing environment your pre prod environment and your prod environment and make it a point to remember that you have to take a database backup hope i have helped you understand the importance of how hotfix is installed in pega and how exactly you can fetch them and how you can install them and what the best practices are thank you this is it for this particular session if you have liked this content please like share and subscribe to our channel which is tech world with abdul thank you catch you in your next video